Hi and welcome back to Show Sir's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with uh, some difficult problems of chemistry. Let's start off with our first question. Over here we are given a bond angle of PB3 is 101 degree. The percent is character of the central atom we need to figure out. Each bond angle in PB3 is less than 101 by 4 which roughly translates to 25.25 or 16.62 percent that is if theta is known. Since PB3 shows sp3 type of hybridization due to 3 sigma plus 1 lp which equals to 4. Now if all bonds are of equal bond angle then 101 by 4 equals to 25.25 approximately that is that S character is equal to 25.25 percent but due to LP BP type of repulsion the bond angle must be less than 25.25 percent alternately we can do it in a, another way this alternate method can only be applied if cos theta is known cos theta equals to s by s minus 100 that is cos 101 degree equals to s by s minus 100 or s equals to minus 0 0.19085 plus 19.08 or 1.1908 s equals to 19.08 therefore percentage s equals to 19.8 by 1.1908 there is a small miscalculation that I made it will be 19.8 therefore s equals to 16.62% Moving on to the next question. Over here we are given an equation. Copper in solid form plus 4 hydrogen atoms plus 2 molecules of nitrate gives 2 NO2 plus 2 copper anions plus 2 H2U in liquid form. In the above reaction it is given 1 atmospheric pressure and 298 Kelvin of heat. If 6.36 6 of copper is used, we need to assume also that ideal gas behavior is achieved here. The volume of NO2 produced in liters is to be calculated. We are also given with the atomic mass of copper, the value of R in liters, atmosphere, Kelvin per Kelvin per molecule. Let us first write out the given information. Copper solid is given as 6 thus the atomic mass of copper is given as 63.6 .6 and R is 0 0.0821 now we will calculate the molar mass of NO2 therefore molar mass of NO2 equals 14 plus 32 which comes to 44 grams now we will follow a systematic step by step manner in step 1 which is at NTP that is natural temperature and pressure since molar ratio between copper and NO2 is 1 is to 2 therefore 
63.6 gram of copper or cuprous gives us 2 into 44 gram of NO2. Therefore, 6.36 grams of copper gives 44 into 6.36 into 2 by 63.6. This comes to 4.4 gram into 2 which is equals to 8.8 .8 grams of NO2. This is the first step. Now we will do the second step. Now in the second step we will calculate weight by mass ratio that is equals to V by 22.4 L. The symbols have their usual meanings. Therefore, V equals to W into 22.4 into 2 by M. This equals 4.4 into 22.4 into 2 by M or 2.24 liters into 2. That is volume of NO2 equals to 4.48 in liters. In the next question, we are given the rate constants for a reaction at 300 Kelvin and 350 Kelvin respectively, which are 8 and 160 liters per mole per second respectively. The activation energy of the reaction in kilojoules per mole is the one that needs to be calculated. Also for our ease, the value of R is given as joule per kilo per mole. Since log of K2 by K1 equals to Ea by 2.303 R T2 minus T1 by T1 into T2, therefore we put values and check that log 160 by 8 equals to Ea by 2.303 into 8.314 by 350 minus 300 by 350 into 300. Upon further simplification, we find that log 20 equals to Ea by 19.15 into 50 by 105 triple zeros. That is 1.3010 equals to Ea into 5 by 19.15 into 105 double zero. Upon calculation, we find the value of Ea. Ea equals to 1.3010 into 19.14 into 105.00 by 5 and this equals to 52.292 joules per mole. Now we calculate it in kilojoules that is 52.292 or 52.30 kilojoule per mole. Let's quickly do another gaseous state questions. A 10 litre flask containing 10.8 gram of N2O5 is heated to 373 Kelvin which leads to its decomposition according to the equation 2 N2O5 gas giving us 4 molecules of NO2 plus one molecule of oxygen both in gaseous states. If the final pressure in the flask is given as 0 0.5 atm, we need to calculate the partial pressure of oxygen in atm or atmospheric pressure given the values of R in liters per atmosphere per kil kelvin per mole. Let's write what is given to us. 
this is the equation now we calculate moles of n2 O5 which is equals to 10.8 by 108 into 10 which equals to 0 0.1 mole since PV equals to NRT which is the formula for the gaseous states if you remember from the chapter 0 0.5 into 10 equals to RT which equals to 0 0.0821 into 373 at equilibrium. Now N equals to PV by RT and upon putting the values we get 0 0.1632. Now using the relation 2 into O5 gives 2 molecules of NO2 plus O2 we find that at equilibrium 0 0.1 minus x gives x 2x and x by 2 of NO2 and O2 respectively. Therefore 0 0.1 minus x plus 2x plus x by 3 equals to 0 0.1 plus 3x by 2 which equals to 0 0.5 or 3x by 2 equals to 0 0.1632 minus 0 0.1 and equals x by 2 equals to 0 0.0632 by 3 giving us 0 0.02 moles of oxygen. Therefore, PO2 equals to 0 0.021 by 0 0.1632 into 0 0.5. This equals to 0 0.06. I have written down the equation because many of you might forget it and this is how we calculate the partial pressure of oxygen. With this we come to an end of another video. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned because we are going to be coming up with many such videos.